Now at 11, the closest of calls when a brush fire breaks out, giant flames moving towards buildings and people. It got frightening fast. In fact, a father and son say they could feel the fire coming. Minutes later, the car they were in got torched. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with our top story at 11. Amber. Well, Jim in Ruta Bay, good evening to you. Yes, this was a crazy afternoon here in Southwest Miami Day. The car that you're referring to has since been removed to the, from the scene, but you're about to see why this father and son do are so grateful they made it out alive. You think we should get out of here? Yeah, yeah, let's Jacob Freund ended that cell phone recording the moment he felt the heat. It started really small and we were running the other way because it was just massive. His dad's car was one of three that caught fire just after 2 o'clock Friday in southwest Miami-Dade. His laptop case was charred, but the computer the itself undamaged. still worked. We take the laptop out, turn it on, the laptop still works perfectly. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. The fire started inside Tamiami Pinelands Park, quickly scorching several acres of the natural preserve. The winds picked up. They, it pushed the fire across 124th Street and into the grass area on the other side of the road. But Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and Florida Forestry jumped into action. They evacuated the buildings nearby and tackled the flames. My whole car caught flames. Stephen Garcia saw the action from a warehouse window. He got burned when he ran to his car. Here. My face and here. The worst part, internally. My lungs were like, I was feeling that, that those fumes in there, they were killing me. But I had to do what I had to do. After two and a half hours, fire crews, along with the torrential downpours of Mother Nature, put out the fire. Fire Rescue says the natural reserve is known for small fires, but this wasn't one of them. This could have potentially been a very large fire that spread from building to building. Now, Ruta Bay and Jim back out here live in Southwest Miami Dade. Again, fortunately, everyone made it out alive. Bad news, as you saw, a few of those cars got torched, and traffic, as you can imagine, was backed up for hours. Reporting live, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.